Welcome back, you lovely bunch. Hope you're all doing good. Right, let's crack on with this straight away. Look, look, look. So you've all seen this before. This is my specialized LA Sprint Disc Road Bike. Oh, such a mouthful, right? It's a specialized disc, LA Disc Sprint? You know what I mean. It's their aluminum frame. It's a crit frame. It's actually a really nice frame. I really like riding it. And it's got a full SRAM Red ETAP group set on it and my Stayer carbon wheels. So these Stayer wheels were actually meant to go on my new Stayer bike, which it has been built. So the frame's been built. And look, I've got this box full of awesome goodies like from Shimano, look, all the DI2 goodness, you know? But as you can see, I've only got one left-hand shifter. So I've got everything in the box that I need, apart from the right shifter. So fingers crossed that will turn up soon. And the plan is all this stuff is going to go on my stayer. So it's going to have a full Ultegra Di2 group set and it would just be really nice. It's a crit frame, it's a steel frame, it's built for racing and essentially that's going to replace, well, my current crit bike. So whilst I'm really excited about that, I, I'm going to admit I'm pretty frustrated that I can't get this shifter and it's taking forever. But there's no point in having two crit frames, right? And as a YouTuber, a cyclist, we all know that N plus one rule. I mean, I, I feel like I might be taking that to the extreme over the next few months. Like I've got a fair bit of room in my house. So, you know, like what, why not have a lot of bikes? Right, anyway, now let's get back on the subject. I'm going off on a tangent. I've got a lot of bikes. I'm gonna get a new bike, my new Stayer bike. That's gonna replace this bike. So I don't need two crit bikes. My Stayer is gonna be my race frame. It's gonna have like my race wheels on it. And, and that's the bike that I wanna do lots of racing on. So I'll have this nice ETAP group set. So I might as well put it on something else, right? And that's what I'm gonna to talk to you about today. Cause this bike is gonna get retired and I'm gonna get a new one. So whilst I'm waiting for the final piece of the puzzle, the shifter to build up my new crit bike, I'm gonna build another bike to keep myself occupied be because, well, why not? And I kinda need your guys' help on this. I'm gonna need you to help me decide on what sort of frame to go for. So, well, so we're not gonna do that in here. We're gonna go out and do a ride and do it essentially and have a coffee and a bit of a chat because why do things inside when we can go out and ride? Right, so I've been offered a carbon frame and a set of wheels from a company called Windspace. I'll put a bit of a link down below. Um, and I've got to choose a frame and I don't know what frame to choose. And this is probably a question a lot of you guys have been pondering when buying a new frame. Do you go for like that aero, like, like fast frame or <laughs> that aero fast frame or do you go for like a lightweight climbing bike? And that is pretty much the dilemma, I know, tough life, right? That I'm, um, that I'm facing at the moment. I'm getting a stayer and that's gonna be for crit racing. I've got these like wheels, they're 60 mil deep and they're gonna go on it, you know? So realistically, that's kind of an aero build anyway. So I was thinking along the lines of going for a lightweight climbing frame, right? So whilst I'm waiting for my brake lever, I'm gonna switch over the bits on this bike and put them on, well, whichever frame that we decide on, guys. Well, you're gonna help me. I'm, I might ignore you on this one though, I'm gonna be honest. Do I go like aero frame, like super deep rims, like, you know, like a, like a TT, like smashy like road bike or do I do a nice climbing frame there are so many hills in Devon and I like climbing you know I'm I'm teetering towards a climbing frame and like like a shallow carbon rim and then disc brakes but what do you guys reckon disc brakes rim brakes or do you think just go full aero I don't know like I'm pretty lucky to get offered it but I just figured because my stay is going to be like a race bike not that you can't climb on it but like when you get offered like a really lightweight carbon frame and I've been riding an alley frame for so long it'll be nice to ride a bit of carbon yeah so it's that whole like aero versus lightweight thing isn't it like because I mean a lot of people you're going to buy like one bike what do you go for like I think a couple of years ago I'd have definitely gone aero but now I definitely teeter towards like lightweight. Like after running disc brakes on like every bike I own, like I don't want to run rim. Like they're just not as good. And if I'm climbing up a hill, I'm going to be descending a hill. And disc brakes make descending so much more fun. I don't know, let me, let me know below. I'm going to probably like really trigger some people that are like rim brake like 
purists. Which one do you prefer? Do you genuinely, genuinely, are there people still out there that prefer rim brakes? I want to know. I want to buy a fucking ride like every day in all weather. Like I don't do like the whole like summer bike, winter bike thing. I just do bikes. You ride them. There's a few questions today, really. Like, do I go for that aero frame? Do I go for the climbing frame? Like, rim brakes, disc brakes, like, like what? What is it? Like, do you know what I mean? Which one? Which one do I actually go for? Do you know what would make this a lot easier? If I could actually show you the frames that I'm, I'm actually talking about. So, I'm pretty much done now with this ride. I'm gonna head home, get my laptop out, and I'll show you the options, and you guys can help me choose, and I'll possibly ignore you, but, but I want you to be involved and then I'll ignore you, if you don't agree with me. <laughs> so you lovely bunch. Right, so I'm gonna talk you through like what the possibilities are. So I'm gonna take you to the Windspace website. These guys do a load of like, so these frames actually, they are like UCI approved. They've got like, I think it's pro continental teams that race on them. And they're like proper, proper nice as well. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty stoked. So the first one is, this is their aero frame. It's a T1500 frame set, carbon obviously. And I'm not gonna read you out all the things. I'm just gonna show you what they look like. And this is what it looks like essentially. But I think it looks pretty awesome and it comes in loads of cool colors as well. Anyway, so that is the option for the aero frame. You guys have a look. I'm gonna put links down below to these so you guys can have a look and let me know. And then you get the SL 2.0, which this is their lightweight frame. I think the frame's like 700 grams, 780 grams, the frame. And I was thinking this in the disc brake version. So with the SLC 2.0, I'd be running the 38 mil like hyper wheels with it. And with the, the T1500 frames, I'll be running the 65 mil deep ones. So that's pretty deep, do you know what I mean? I'm definitely leaning towards the climbing frame, but I'm really interested to know your guys' opinion and what do you reckon? And have a little look, let me know what you think. And then I might ignore you, I might not. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and a bit of a smashy fun ride tomorrow. I think I'll take you guys along. So yeah, tune in for that one. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.